Hello again. Today we are talking about inverse variation models. And we will write the equations relating x and y. So remember, When x and y vary inversely, y is equal to k divided by x. And when we are given that x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 4, we need to find the value of k. So we'll rewrite this. So we'll rewrite this as 4 is equal to k over 2. So to solve for k, I will multiply both sides by 2. These 2's cancel out, and so we see here that 8 is equal to k. So now I will take this value for 8 and plug it in for k into our inverse variation model. So now I have y is equal to 8 divided by x. And that's how you write an equation relating x and y when x and y vary inversely. Now, let's say we have an x value of one third and a y value of nine. And I need to write an equation relating x and y. So I'll plug these values in. So we'll say that nine is equal to k divided by one third. So I will multiply both sides of the equation by one-third, and these one-thirds cancel. So now, what is one-third of nine? Well, that's three. So three equals k. So I'll take that k, and I'll plug it into the inverse variation model. So, I will get y is equal to 3 over x. And that's how you write an equation relating x and y. So here I have an x value of negative 4 and a y value of 5. So I will plug them into the inverse variation model to solve for k. Well, y is equal to 5, so we'll write this as 5 is equal to k over negative 4. And now we will solve for k, so I will multiply both sides by negative 4. These negative 4's cancel. I'll bring down the k. And negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. So k is equal to negative 20. So I'll take the value of k and plug that into our inverse variation model. So y is equal to negative 20 divided by x. So that's how you write an equation relating x and y.